Hello crew, it is um, 5.40 p.m. Um, on the 16th of November, year of our Lord, 2011. And um, I just got your most recent video and there seems to be a high frequency of videos right now. It could be because I'm sitting in a hotel room. And actually in about 20 minutes I'm gonna take off and go to uh, in and out for dinner with Sean um, and stuff my face. I have been eating so much food at this conference. Uh, I'm gonna put on a lot of weight, but I've, I've been working out. Mostly I didn't do it this morning, but I did the last couple days. I will tomorrow. Um, but it's been a good conference actually. Um, I gave a talk about GIS actually it was patterned off the talk I gave, you saw me give at uh, University of Wisconsin La Crosse, um, but I ended up changing about a third of the slides and reworking a lot of it. Um, so I enjoyed that, yeah, that was yesterday. Then today the keynote speaker talked about uh, uh, enterprise architectures for IT systems and he has a book out, he's a professor at some place in Dallas Texas Institute of Technology or something like that. Um, and it was a good talk. It was interesting. It was very much an academic talk in that it tended to be less focused and um, a, little, a little rambling and it ran over in length, which is typical for academic talks. Um, but it was good. It was interesting and it was a lot of good concepts there and I'd like to go back there was a lot of information there that was difficult to understand because it was conceptually diff uh, difficult and, uh, and w unless you understand the language it's hard. So I think I'm going to get the guy's book and, and uh, try to learn about that. I also went to a session on plan budget planning for IT and uh, which was good and, and I think I'm going to talk to uh, the Gardner group which is the person there. Um, but you know the one thing about these conferences, and you know you're talking about you come and play golf at these conferences, is I come to these conferences and I, you know, I'm just a stick in the mud. I'm not interested in going out and partying and hanging out with people. And uh, it's funny I was talking to Sean, and uh, he went through the vendor area and got all of the boot vendor booths to stamp his card so he could put his name in for the drawing. He actually won a Pendleton blanket, which is pretty nice. But uh, he said, yeah, he goes, I, I got through the vendor booth and I had to go back to my room and just decompress after talking to all those people. I'm the same way I went through, you know, I spent, oh, probably two, two, two and a half hours um, in the vendor booths um, today, probably about the same yesterday afternoon. And it just reaches a point where I'm just like, God, I just need to go sit in my room and just relax. And actually they closed down the vendors today and it was like, Whew, I don't have to deal with these people talking to me. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, I, but I, you know, I enjoyed the conference and there's a lot of nice people here. So, um, yeah, it's been good. I'm looking forward to uh, going back. The other good thing about it is, you know, when I sit in these sessions, most of the things that we're doing in our IT department are really exactly what we should be doing. Uh, you know, I, I don't sit in, uh, in the sessions and think, gosh, we really should be doing that instead of what we're doing. People say, well, this is what you should be doing. I'm like, well, actually, that's pretty much what we're doing. And the reason why we're not having success is are things that are outside of our control. So anyway, uh, it's kind of uh, reassuring to do that. And also, I had a couple people who said they really liked my talk, which was nice. You figure if you get two people who like your talk out of 25 or however many were in there. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, so, anyway, that's uh, that's all I got for you. Oh, the Penn State stuff. Yeah, I'll be interested to hear more about that. Um, here's a guy who's a former uh, U.S. national team player and uh, played for New England Re Revolution named Taylor Twelman. Great, great striker. Uh, loved watching him play. Uh, he had to, he had to quit early. I think he's only like 30 years old, but maybe 31, but he basically uh, had to quit because of concussions, which sucks. 
Anyway, he I follow him on Twitter, and he's been just hammering Penn State over and over again. And he, and he tweeted something about Joe Paterno transferring ownership of his house to his wife for a dollar in July of this year. And, and uh, something about how he was trying to protect himself from lawsuits. And uh, there's an article in the New York Times about it that says that it's actually way more likely that it was just a standard portfolio move for somebody in his age, in his stage of life, to try to diversify his, his the ownership of his assets with his wife so that they can take better advantage of tax deductions upon their death. Um, but, you know, I, I, I have kind of, well, since I've been here, I haven't been able to follow it. Actually, U.S. men's national team played yesterday, and I didn't even get to, I haven't seen any of the highlights or anything. Um, so I've been out of it because I'm here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, I just hate the glee with which people, um, are tearing this whole thing apart. And the, the, the rapidity with which they are willing to throw certain people under the bus. I know we've talked about this, but. Oh, so. I'm going to go now. Um, I don't have, really have anything else to add. Um, I will uh, talk to you soon. Maybe I'll make a video of us going to In-N-Out Burger. Uh, maybe not. Until um, I talk to you again, I am still dead.